Bonjour, I'm Angela, a modern languages teacher and owner of Lively Languages. Today, we're going to look at perhaps and maybe in French. Why? Because although there are two words in English, the French only has one, which is peut-être, but has three ways of using it. Try and use all three ways to add variety to your language. So, let's set the scene. Here are Marie and Thomas. They are waiting for Pierre in the café. They've been there for 10 minutes and there's no sign of Pierre. Marie and Thomas discuss his absence. Firstly, Marie says, Il a peut-être manqué le bus. Maybe he's missed the bus. In this example, peut-être is in the middle of the sentence between commas. Then Thomas replies, Oui, mais voici une autre idée. Peut-être qu'il a oublié notre rendez-vous. Yes, but here's another idea. Maybe he's forgotten our meeting. This sentence starts with peut-être, but is followed by que, which shortens to qu in front of a vowel. And Marie comes back with considérant ceci. Peut-être fait-il quelque chose d'autre? Or, let's consider this. Maybe he's doing something else. And here, Marie has inverted the verb and the subject pronoun il after peut-être. So, there you have it. There are three ways to use peut-être. The easiest way is the first way, sandwiching the peut-être in the middle of a sentence between two commas. The next easiest is to start the sentence with peut-être que, but remember to shorten que if it's followed by a vowel. And the third and possibly most impressive way is to invert the verb and subject pronoun after peut-être. Why not tell me which method you'll perhaps adopt? Write it in the comments and I'll reply. Or if you have a question, pop that in the comments too. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another one. All that re remains for me to say is merci and au revoir. Thanks for watching.